All right, so I'm back at the storage unit. I brought over some of the bins I have in my apartment that were empty. There's four of them in here. So I'm gonna use that to try to, to um, store away most of these fans. That way I have more space to bring down some of the other stuff. And obviously some of those things will be getting taken out of the bins and put on the shelves. But in the meantime, I do need a space to actually set up the shelves and I don't wanna bring everything out into the open. But um, yeah, but at least I have the shelf here. So not the shelves, the, um, the bins here. So that would definitely help out. And these are empty ones that I had gotten recently. So these are not the ones from upstairs. Um, there's two more from that, the apartment that I got to bring over, but I figured four of them should do for now. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to get this one powered up and find a cord for this one. It actually could be somewhere in this unit. I just don't know. It might be right underneath something. But as I start putting this stuff in bins, it should show up somewhere. And at the same time, I do plan to take apart the other shelf within the front area of the other unit, bring it down here and try to take down at least the other, the make it air made so that's in the back, the, um, the one in the back right side. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and bring these in and then I'll pick it up from there. All right, so I got two bins filled up with fans and I'm leaving the top one uncovered because most of those are ones that I need to either take apart more or are ones I need to test soon and such. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up the other two bins and I'll pick it up from there. I also figured I'd mention that I got the other Minka Air Mesa powered up. I found the cord that went to it, connected it, and now it's running again. Now it is wobbling a little bit more than I remember it, but um, I mean, it's the amount of times things have hit it. I'm not too surprised, but um, yeah, I'm noticing now that they're both spinning that this one is more centered, I guess, towards the center of it the grid and this one's a bit more off to the side of the grid but i'm totally okay with that because if i do end up hanging up some fans in the middle or if i end up putting a light there at least there won't be so much glare and such so um, yeah by the looks of it this one will be a little bit like the shelf will probably be like right around here whereas the other this one the shelf is really like right by the switch housing but um yeah, I got both of them running and that's definitely good because I do want to try to get more use out of them. And since I actually have power here all the time now, <clears throat> that will definitely help with getting them used more. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and get some more fans and bins and then I'll pick it up from there. All right, so I'm up on the other unit and I'm going to start t moving fans off of the shelf so I can start taking this one apart. And at the same time, I'm going to try to take down the third make it air Mesa and such so that way I can move the stuff off of that shelf easy without worrying about hitting it and such. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and then I'll pick it up from there. So I'm actually gonna start off with taking apart this fan cause that way if I take this apart, I can empty both of these shelves and start taking both of them apart quicker. So I'm gonna take this apart and un uninstall it and I'll start moving stuff off of this shelf and the one that's in front of me so that way I can clear it out, both of them off quicker and bring them both down to the other unit. All right, so I got the Mickey Air Mesa taken down and I have to dolly roll it up with some more fans. I figured maybe just try to clear off the shelves as much as possible and then start to take them apart because I, I feel like it's not really gonna be any point taking it apart if I can't get half of it down there right away. So until then, I'm just gonna take them bring stuff down there little by little and either put some of them in bins or put some of them off to the side but um, yeah so far i got the the mesa two daytons huntington one the abc air master compton greaves fan the um, smc laguna and the neutron swim line so um yeah the laguna i still have the box right, right there since it kind of came apart over time but i am gonna Put it back together because I do want to keep the box for that one and such and put the Laguna back in there. But um, yeah, I'm going to get the ladder on here so I can bring the stuff down and then um, bring them in, put the Minka back up in the other unit and then I'll call it a day for now and then I'll pick it up later on when I come back tomorrow to do some more of what I was doing today. All right, so I got the stuff unloaded from the dolly and I do have the third Minka Air Mesa installed and it's running. 
having it hung up um, or just spinning the motor for the first time in a while, I can definitely see it possibly needing some oil in its future because the motor on this one's pretty stiff compared to the other three. High speed it runs well, it's more so on medium and low speed. Um, let me actually turn all of them down to medium just to show you guys what I mean. And then I'm doing a quick spin down just to show you afterwards. Like uh, killing the power at the center because yeah, but um something I do notice is that one if I leave it running, you don't really see the blades of it like spinning on the ceiling, like the shadow of it. So I'm actually gonna leave this one on. But I'm just gonna keep it on the low speed probably. Maybe medium, who knows? Yeah, medium speed is actually doing better than it used. I remember, so that's a good sign. I mean, it hasn't been used in like maybe a good six to seven months, anyway. So, well, low speed it definitely goes much slower than the others. But yeah, I'm gonna cut it here for today, and I'll be back tomorrow to do some more stuff. Um, Bring down another shelf, hopefully, or a part of it. <clears throat> yeah, you can definitely see that the front two are going much faster than the one in the back. And right, I'll just kill the power on it just to do a spin down. Yeah, you can already see the one in the back swap, swapping a lot quicker, too. I am going to figure out a way to get the this hung up up in the air so that way the wires aren't in the way like this. I do feel that it kills the view a bit, but um, yeah. But yeah, it's already coming to complete stop as you can see. As the other two have like a few minutes worth of spinning down to do. So I'm gonna shut off these two for now, and this. Actually, I might leave it on medium just to kind of let it run a bit more. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna move it down to low because that way it's dead silent and nobody knows that it's on. Well, yeah, I'm glad that I can at least leave this one on because this is the one that really needs to have more use out of all four of them because it's bearings in this one are more stiff. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and walk it up and I'll pick it up the next time I'm here. All right, so it's the next day and I'm back at the upstairs unit and I'm going to start moving some of this stuff over here so I can try to work on taking apart this shelf. So I do have some stuff in the way over here, but it's not too much stuff. And what I'm also going to do is try to get some of the glassware stuff out of here and move that downstairs. That way I don't have to worry about anything fragile falling down and breaking because I don't want to have to deal with broken glass in here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start moving some stuff over little by little and then I'll pick it up from there. And hopefully I can try to take down the glass and make it airmade so that it's installed in the unit. All right, so I got to dye all it up with some of the glassware and a few other stuff just to get them out of the way. And I also moved the three bins out of the way as well, so I can get into this back area a lot easier now and start kind of working back here. And I can also start working on taking apart this shelf a lot easier. So that's definitely gonna be a big help. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and br bring that stuff down. That way I can bring these bins down next and also come back up here with the ladder so I can start taking apart and uninstalling the last air Mesa. All right, so I got the bins moved out of the unit and some of the glassware, lights and such from that back one there. So the next time I come up here, I'm gonna bring the ladder up so I can try to start taking apart the Mickey Air Mesa that's in that back area. And also try to move some of this stuff on this shelf off of it or onto the dolly and start taking this shelf apart. So that way I can kind of focus on clearing out the front bit more and also work my way into the back which i'm able to get into without an issue now so i can start even moving some of the stuff from this area and such Hold on. yeah let me go ahead and do that and then i'll pick it up from there 
All right, so I got the front crate out a bit. I moved the three vents over here out of the way onto this. I got more of the fans here, the box fan, and just some of the light kits are glassware. Now I figured maybe move now because some of the stuff I'm gonna be moving, I don't want them to break. So um, yeah. So when I come back up here, I have to drop the stuff down into the other unit. I'm gonna bring the ladder back up here to steps room one and start taking apart the blast to make it air mesa. I can install that downstairs and also get around to taking this one apart so um yeah that this i might save for the next time i'm here but I'm, i will try to move some of the stuff off it today but um yeah let me go ahead and do that all right so i got the dolly rolled up with some more stuff i got the last three bins from the front area welded onto it and i got some fans on it some new tone pro line twos the 56 inch ones and the 48 inch one so we need to get the other 56 inch one that i got the original one that i got from chandra a while back that i'm pretty sure is somewhere further back into the unit but um or maybe it's one, one of the bins but i also got the glass out because i don't want that breaking while i'm moving stuff around especially these hunter original type globes and such and i figured i'd get the homes box fan out the four bladed one just to kind of get that out of the way from here so that way when i come back up here i'll bring up the ladder and start taking apart the last make air mason and bring that downstairs to install as well so yeah let me go ahead and bring this stuff down and then i'll pick it up from there all right so i got this stuff brought down to the new unit and now let me go ahead and unload it and then i'll pick it up from there all right so i got the stuff unloaded into the unit and made a little path so that way i can go ahead and install the last make air mesa here and such but um yeah i'm gonna leave that one running on low all the time same thing with this one just so i can have some sort of circulation here from when i'm not here and yeah let me go ahead and bring the ladder up so i can take the last fan down and then install it and then from there um, the next time i come here i'll be taking apart the front shelf the last one and i'm gonna put that one in this back area so i can kind of have more progress set up over here and such and then the other ones will be worked on from this side i kind of rather work on setting up one side of the unit and then working my way to the other side instead of setting them up in random spots at once just so i can kind of get one area finished okay now on to the next one so um yeah let me go ahead and head back upstairs and i'll pick it up from there all right so the last maker air mesa has been uninstalled and the old unit is now completely uninstalled with fans so now I can be more quick about moving stuff out of here and not worry about hitting the blades on them or breaking them and such. So yeah, let me go ahead and lock it up, bring this fan down there, hook it up, and then I'll wrap up the video. All right, so I'm down at the other unit and I'm gonna install the last Minkin Air Mesa now and then I'll pick it up from there. All right, so I got the last one reinstalled and have them all running on high speed. It's great to hear, see them running without having a buzzing sound on them and such for the car battery. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power on the front too, and then I'll bring the back two down to low. I'll probably, I might leave the back one there on medium because that one's pretty quiet. And that one kind of buzzes a bit more from what I've noticed. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that and then I'll pick it up from there. All right, so I shut off the two front ones and I moved the two back ones down to low speed and I'm gonna leave them running one while I'm not here. Since I do have it plugged in up there. Honestly, the cord really isn't that noticeable. Um, I just don't want it to be dangling, just so it's like not in the way as much. But um, yeah, I'll leave these running all the time, basically. Especially that one there, because that one I really need to have the bearings break in more. Since that one has some, uh, out of all the motors, that one's the most stiff one. But um, yeah, definitely got a lot done today. You know, next time I come, I'll definitely try to bring one of the other shelves down here. Um, either partially or completely, but we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.